Hey friends, it's Jason O'Dell here with your January 2019 photo tip. Uh, welcome to the new year. It's, I'm happy to be here. We all made it through 2018. So anyway, um, today let's talk about zapping dust from your photos in Lightroom. It's super easy, but there's a couple of tricks that you may not know, so I want to show those to you. So let's jump over to my Lightroom screen and uh, pull up this image. And um, so I've got a nice image here that, that I captured in... Uh, Badlands National Park in South Dakota, uh, one of my workshop locations. And if we zoom in here, you can see that I've got some nefarious little dust spots here that are, you know, inevitable when you're working in dusty environments and changing lenses, which is prone to happen in landscape photography. So we want to get rid of those dust spots. And the easiest way to do that is just directly in Lightroom. We'll go ahead and open up the spot removal tool which is over here in the um, right hand side of the screen here's the spot removal tool it's got a keyboard shortcut Q don't ask me why and we're gonna set it to heal mode and from here in this brush we can adjust the size and the feathering now I like to just adjust the size using the scroll wheel on my mouse and if you hold down the shift key you can adjust the feathering of that as well so you can feather it so I'm just going to go ahead and make a hard edge and adjust this to one of my dust spots. And to zoom in when you're in the brush mode, you need to press the shift key on your keyboard, or excuse me, the space bar on your keyboard, and then just click and you'll zoom right in. So here's that dust spot. I'm just going to adjust the size of it and we click go. And Lightroom automatically picks a source to heal up the dust spot. And if you don't like it, you can drag that that source around you can make it larger or smaller after the fact if I want to put it over here whatever but what if you got a lot of dust spots you want to be able to methodically go through and visualize those it sometimes can be hard to see there's some faint dust spots you might not notice so let's talk about some ways that you can do that first thing you can do is use the spot visualizer down here at the bottom of the screen down here at the bottom left hand corner there's a little checkbox that says visualize spots and you can check it or you can just press A on your keyboard and it'll, it'll create a threshold view and that's pretty cool so it's a, it's a threshold mask and if you use the slider you can increase the sensitivity and as I drag it up you can see all of a sudden whoa there's all these little dust spots that are appear now with all things in photography trust but verify so go back and if you hit a again you know make sure that you're not looking at a cloud or or something like that so we can use the dust visualizer a to go through and find them another cool trick you can do though is to zoom in to 100 percent and use the page up and page down keys to methodically scroll through your image so let's do that I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the space bar again click my cursor over here so I'm zoomed in to hundred percent and I can see these dust spots so now I'm just gonna go through and in my little region here zap those dust spots and then I'm gonna hit the page down key on my keyboard and it takes me down a notch and I go again and it takes me down a notch now I'm here in an area where there's not a lot of dust even if there was I wouldn't see it but when I click it again it brings me up to the top and it moves me over one square we can see this if I expand the navigator so you can see where we're going so as I page down you can see in the navigator on the left hand side over in the top left that I'm scrolling down through the image and when I get to the bottom hit page down again it jumps me up to the next area and if I don't see any dust in those areas I can choose to just leave them alone here we go I'm at the top right corner now I got a couple of dust spots that I want to zap so I'm just gonna zap them click we're good when you're all done and you're convinced that you've got all your dust spots removed you can just hit A again and then just hit Q again and that will get you out of the dust spot so what we did if I click Q you can see all the little dust spots that we used to to kill them and uh, we're good to go. So there you have it, a quick and easy way of removing dust using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic CC. Um, check out my website, luminescentphoto.com, for all kinds of Lightroom tips, plus online training and classes. So if you've got a question that you want to ask me, or if you want to sign up for some online mentoring, just drop me an email. Um, you can get through my website, luminescentphoto.com. I'll see you next time. Happy January.